Hey, hey, today we are going to solve sorted colors. A medium problem and it's nice problem. Okay, given an array of names with an objected colors, red, white, or blue, sort them in place. So the object of the same colors are adjacent. It means like uh, red means zero and white is one and blue is two and we are going to sort the number in this going to return like like it means like the, there is a relationship between like the numbers and the colors at the end of the day like we are going to sort the numbers but the let like the problem is going to be said because it's medium like if it if it was easy like we are going to use a library sort function like nums dot sort at this time we are going to do it like by ourselves we are going to sort it mm. to sort this element like we are going to iterate the element and if you got zero we are going to use two pointers and Swap it with the left, and if you got two, we are going to swap it with the right pointer. But we are going to do it. We are going to swap using two pointers. If you are using two pointers, let's create left comma right gonna be zero and oh, length length of length minus one. That's our last element to point out the right pointer. Uh, is going to be our iterator or our current value. And let's create a swap function. It's going to take INDJ pointer. Let's sort our nums of nums of i in tint value and Nums of i is going to be nums of j and nums of j is gonna be our previous nums of i. It means that was stored in temp. It's going to be temp. If you put like two values in this swap function, it's going to swap it for us. Like we don't want to rewrite again or i pointer or our current iterator is not less than or equal to with the right pointer what we need to do we are going to check if nums of i is equal to zero the first thing we need to swap if i is equal to zero we are going to swap that element with our left pointer our current is zero like at this time our left is going to be zero what happened to the next one left is gonna be incremented by one else if nums of i if the thing is equal to two what we are going to do we are going to swap our right value with our current thing. After that, we are going to decrement it by one R and I the same thing decremented by one. After that, we should iterate until this condition is dissatisfied. That's what we are going to do it. Yeah, it's work. Perfectly work. Nice problem. Thank you, guys for watching it.